Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, once again, welcome back to my channel. It's Sunday today, and that means adventure time. And oh boy, we are in for an adventure today. So as last week, uh, before moving forward, I would like to introduce Nisha as my partner in crime today. And hopefully we can manage to get through this game together uh, tonight. Uh, last time, I think we spent five hours on on our last game. Uh, I really hope that we will manage to get through a bit quicker today. But anywho, um, are you ready, Nisha? Yes, I am. Hi, Good. everyone. Greetings from India. Namaste. I'm looking forward for this classic adventure. Oh, good. Have you heard about Full Throttle before? No. It just, um, when I heard from you, I started checking online. <laughs> so you have, you have uh, all the tips and tricks ready. That's right. Oh, yeah. I'll, I, I really hope so. Um, I... I don't remember when I last played Full Throttle, which is the game we're going to go through today. But uh, uh, yeah, so let's um, let's have a look at the uh, the uh, the information about the game. So today's challenging playthrough is another graphic adventure uh, video game developed by Lucas Arts, and it's designed by Team Schaefer. So that's a name you will recognize from a few of the other games we're playing. Uh, the game was released in April 1995 which is a uh, quite some time ago. Um, it was released for MS-DOS, uh, Microsoft Windows and Mac OS. So this was Schaefer's first game as a project lead, head writer and also as the main designer. Uh, after having worked on other LucasArts titles like Day of the Tentacle as we did one week ago. Uh, the game is set in the near future, <laughs> back in 1995, so it's probably in the past. But the game, uh, the, the story of the game, uh, it follows Ben. So Ben is the leader of a biker gang and he's framed for murder of a um, beloved motorcycle manufacturing mogul. Uh, and he seeks to clear his name and his, his gang's name. So that's the plot. Uh, and it's, um, it's pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of, a lot of uh, things we need to sort out to, to be able to clear his name. Um, well, we'll get back to that. So a remastered version was uh, developed by Double Fine Production and it was released in, uh, in April 2017 uh, on multiple platforms. And this is the version we will be, we will be um, playing today. So just to grab the box. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's one of the rather cool big big box games we have uh, inside the box Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. 
What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. Ben? Hmm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right! Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... 
Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Ripburger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders' meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Ripburger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rotwheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the interface, or not the interface, but this is the this is the starting point. Uh, and as you see, we have this uh, this uh, cursor. We can move around. Uh, there should be so it's either white. You see that it's white. Nothing happens, or there's nothing to to point at. Let me have the possibility when it's this red uh, cornered around the cursor. Oh. No, oh, here he is. Welcome, Ben. So this is Ben, our main character. Uh, this is the guy we're going to drag through the game uh, and try to ensure that he he survives somehow. Um, I know there is a possibility that we, we could kill him, so let's try to avoid that. But so that from the cutscene, you so saw the old guy is the uh, is the um, uh, is the owner of uh, of Corley Motors, this uh, uh, motorcycle. Um, company and then we had this idiot with the weird face uh which is the bad guy right so he's probably up to no good and uh then we have ben and the rest of the guys in the in the bar was the pole cats which were <clears throat> oh, which is uh ben's uh motorcycle gang I so i don't have anything i don't have anything and i think we should try is there a way of turning on some subtitles here? That would be good for us to see what the guys are talking about. Let's see, English, fine. Oh, could I choose? Oh, I'm not gonna do it in French. Or ge German, that would be great. Um, blah, 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 graphic quality, full screen on. Cool. Let's go back. Uh, resume. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have anything. Okay, so now we have the uh, the uh, captions as well. Anything. Perfect. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. Okay, so we could get this menu here where we could have a look at it. Let's have a look at the dumpster. I've woken up and worse. That's nice. I don't have anything. Uh, okay. Uh, and you could taste it. I'm not putting my lips on that. Maybe not. You could I hit it. I it enough. Okay. Or you could kick it. Oh, he loves to kick take it. Take that. Yeah, take that. Take it again. And that. Oh, what happens now? And that. Okay, so that's just repetitive. Can we pick up the boxes? I can't see any use for those. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And there's a lot of funny... Uh, funny... Um, I've touched it enough. Comments from Ben here. So let's have a look at the boxes over here. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. 
it's a good thing that the, the main character for the motorcycle gang is is worried about or not worried but is considering um, recycling that's great so we're outside the the bar where uh, the podcast were and where we sort of started off and we have the bike here uh I don't have anything. Should be possible to have a look at the bar, I suppose. The kickstand. Hmm. Mm hmm. What? It's empty, but I can see the bartender in there. Okay, so the team left. <laughs> and, uh. Basically, the team left. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Ben is left all alone. Let's see if we can uh, move along with the bike, though. Some joker took my keys. I don't like that. Mm, no, probably. I don't have anything. Well, let's knock on the door and see if we could uh, have a chat with the bartender. Open up. Come on, open up. Well, that's not gonna do any good. Come on. Open up. Okay, so Ben is, he's a pragmatic guy. Come on. Okay, let's go in. I uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. <laughs> Look, yeah. I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Okay. What a mess. So, Nisha, any um, thoughts about what we could do in the bar here? Well, instead of knocking, I, I would say kick the door. Yeah, so we're in. Um, let's see. Oh, nice piano. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Yeah, what do you know, Ben? Oh, yeah. Well, let's have a chat with the bartender, right? Let's see if we could uh, see what's going on. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those, those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? So as, as usual with the LucasArts game, you have the option of just picking some, some uh, standard... Uh, conversation topics and let's let's just start at the top where'd everybody head off to what am i the cruise director maybe they're up on the lido deck <laughs> uh, i think you're in on this whole bum deal yeah well what are you gonna do about it oh you don't want to know what uh, do you have yeah let's see i want to know who knocked me out maybe you just passed out you should learn to handle your liquor Really? You want something? Yeah. I'm looking for my keys. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you do. Let's let's You know what try something better else. on your nose. What? Ash. Now don't mess around with me. Alright, alright. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. Mm. So we got the keys. We got the keys. And I see Steam is is uh, giving credit for pulling his nose straight. That's great. Okay. Okie doke. Let's start the uh, motorbike and see if we can get somewhere. So this is probably another cutscene. So we're heading off on the kickstand. When I'm on the road, I'm 
acceptable. No one can stop me. But they try. Oh. This is gonna be interesting. Hey! Ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When a rock wheeler's hit the oh, road, cool. that's right. we own it. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats? Oh, heavens. Whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty. Let's get down. So let's see if I got the. Uh... Come on, come on. Hit the guy. Okay. He was in our way. Ben is a cool guy. Not that cool without his front wheel, though. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. That's not good. Come on, Ben, wake up. Oh, great. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Oh, yeah, great journalist. Oh, moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Oh, joy. What are you? I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. So, we're back to some chatting here. By the way, thanks for following, yes. Appreciate it. So, who are you? Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Okay. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Is this an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. So, just just keep in mind what she's talking about. So she she doesn't want to give up her last name, and it's she says it's a it's a Corley uh, service shop, but it's a, it's not authorized. Uh, there's something fishy about that. So let's let's have a chat. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. Toasters? Yeah, from from uh, bikes to toasters. That'll make sense. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. <laughs> now let's have a chat about the bike. How's it look? Looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. 
Oh. Front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And forks. someone stole my welding torch. Can you welding believe torch? that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay. Uh, so where am I supposed to find where all this stuff? Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. <clears throat> uh, new forks, let's Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. We should probably have a chat with Todd, I suppose. Todd is hopefully a nice How guy. I'm supposed to find your torch. I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Mm, yeah. What about the gas? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Cool. Okay. Ah, yeah. yeah. Let's see well, what we can do I'll about let you it. Get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Mm, yeah, that would be good. So, just have a look around in the shop if there's anything we could pick up or have a look at without. Yeah, not no though, but what was that? Okay. Oh, there's a photo over here. Let's have a look at it. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Keep an eye of that. There's something about the mink farm. What was this? Wish this gas can was full. Oh, we probably need that one. Thank you. And uh, there's a host. Let's pick that one up as well. What's this? Ah, uh, okay. So let's not mess with, mess around with the bike. So it seems like we're done here. For now, at least. Let's have a look outside what's going on. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. Oh. I might still get a quote. Uh, ambush. I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Mm. Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I... I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I... I need... Come on, man. Spit it out. Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, I'd better take off. All right. Drive safe now. Yeah, yeah whenever I get a bike, though. Okay, so this is most place. Uh, we're not going inside. Is there anything else here? Nah. Mailbox. Let's have a look at the mailbox. It's empty. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. Ah, okay. I thought I could kick it. That would be nice. Okay, so there's not much here. Let's see what else is in town. Where are you going? Okay, he's out. <laughs> yeah, no wheels. Thank you. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Maybe I should try to talk like Ben. Maybe that's better. Oh. Okay. So we have an overview of the city here. Um... We're able to go in different directions. Maybe we should have a look at this place first. So it seems to be something here. Something major over here. Maybe that's a junkyard. And there's a tower full of gas over here. And most place. Uh, we have to go by foot. Darn. Do you agree, Nisha? Should we go to the uh, place over here first? Do you mean the junkyard? 
No, the place next to the junkyard. Okay, try that out. <laughs> I thought you would find the torch first. Yeah, that might be good. Do you have any suggestions? Then that would be the junkyard, I would say. Okay, let's go to the junkyard. Mm, okay. Nisha told me to go to the junkyard. I'll go to the junkyard. Okay. Okay, looks closed. Mm. Let's have a look. Heavy looking. Mm hmm. Could I budget? Open up, Todd. Come on, Todd. Yeah. That didn't do any good. Hey, what's this? Is there a rope here? Chain, chain. Let's have all. Oh, let's lick the chain. I'm not putting my lips on that. Now, what are you putting your lips on? Okay, let's pull it. Ah, it's open. That's way too easy. Okay, let's go, man. Rolling door. Yep, let's let's just go here. <laughs> nice try. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Uh, I don't think we are getting into the junkyard, uh, Anisha. Okay. Well, not this way at least. As soon as I, I let go of the rope or the chain. The door goes down. Heavy looking. Yeah, heavy looking. Okay, so thanks but no thanks. Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Come on, Todd. Open up. No, I, I have a feeling that Todd is somewhere else. Can you have a dialogue with him? Is, is there any option? Mm. So I just went to this other place. And there's some funny stuff going on in the underground basement. Something, something here. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. <laughs> That's some welding going on on the underground here. Let's have a look. It's even sadder looking inside. Sandbox. Apparently this guy has a dog. Should probably be aware of the dog then. Chimney. I would suggest we have a knock at the door and see who opens. Smells like burning metal down there. I'm not gonna let's knock on the door and see what's going on in here. Come on. Oh. What the heck? Does he have a lift in there? Hey! I'm trying to do my no, art in here. Door is on the option. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Yeah, you lousy nobody. Let's see what Ben does about it. Oh, he just left again? Come on. Don't go. Come on. Let's piss him off. Kick the door. Oh yeah. I got a guy coming to look at my yard. So blow. Can't you talk? Yeah. Problem solved. I'm not putting my lips <clears> on <throat> that. No, no, that's fine. This view defines true beauty. So this is probably Todd. I'm having a gut feeling about that. So let's see, is there anything we could... What's this? Cabinet. Let's have a look in the cabinet, shall we? Is there anything in here? It's a lockpick. Oh, we could pick it up. Perfect. Is there anything else? It's empty. Okay, so let's close it then. That's the lift. Oh, a lot of fun stuff down here. 
had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Okay. Can we kill the radio? Can't get up there. Mm, too bad. That was annoying. What was this? It's a torch. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. All good. Goody good. So we got the torch. We just need the forks and the gas. Let's see. Okay, I'm curious if we picked up everything we could at Todd's place. If you remember at the junkyard, there was a dock. And uh, to go through that chain, you might need to lock the door, right? So you might need a lock. lock we should find a lock. Yeah, at Todd's place maybe. Mm. Let's, let's have a look in his basement again. Oh, that annoying radio. Metal bird. I don't... Could I pick it up? Could I kick it? I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. <laughs> okay. And what's this? Can pile. It's just rubbish. Metal figure. I don't collect art. I also don't collect whatever that is. I don't collect dark. Okay. And I also don't collect whatever that is. It looks like there's no nothing to pick up here. Let's go outside again. Is there a trailer? Something kind of Trail this is the trailer. Maybe open the Have you been cabinet? paying attention, Misha? Sorry. <laughs> so the funny thing is that there's a lag from Norway to India. So Nisha is always <laughs> two minutes behind on the on the logic. It's not your fault though. It's not your fault. I hear you. This decor has a strong <laughs> carnival <laughs> coin toss flavor to it. <laughs> All the way from Norway to India. Okay. So... <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to speak tomorrow if I continue like this. It's fun though. There's nothing to pick up here. Should we have a look at the at the uh, the gas tower maybe? Man, Ben is going to be fit running along like this. That looks like it's been been locked. It's a lock here. Ah, should we have a look at it? Tough looking padlock. Mm hmm. I couldn't break that lock. Look at your picket. It's a lock pick. Oh, good. No, sorry, wrong key. Great. Oh, I'm going to pick that up. Pick it up. Perfect. Let's have a look what's inside here. Hmm. What's this? Ladder. Oh, let's climb the ladder. Or maybe not. Let's run and hide. Come on, Ben. We got company. Ryan, where are you? Hey, I don't see anybody. Maybe nobody's there. But who set off the alarm before? Maybe someone is just fooling with us. Uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, 
I'm going down for a closer look. Uh oh. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Uh -huh. Let's go up and get him. Okay, cool. What's this? Gas cap. I suggest we try to uh, to fetch some gas from this one. Oh yeah. Let's see. Let's take the I don't know in here. Ha. <laughs> so I do remember some of this from the first time I played it. Uh, we probably need to black. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. So Ben is a sneaky, sneaky one. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Well, just a pair of new forks and we're on the on road. The road. Just a pair of new forks. <sighs> Maybe we should have a look at the junkyard then, uh, Nisha. Yeah, for the forks? Mm, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. Oh, there's a dog in here. <laughs> Sounds like it. So we're gonna use the padlock on the entrance here. Okay. Let's try to pull the chain and see what happens. Oh, that's a nasty dog. Yeah, sure. Junk. Oh, did you see that? That was a dog running around. Uh, okay. Let's wreck. Let's have a look at the wreck over here. I don't know how this is going to go. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Rex. Is there anything Scars. to distract Don't the dog? You. I would love some food. That would be nice. What's this? Parse pile. Let's have a look. Just the kind of forks I need. Right on top. Oh, perfect. Let's pick it up then. It's second thought, maybe not. <laughs> Run, Ben, run! Down. Bad dog. Yeah, nice. So the dog is, is actually spitting bolts and nuts. <sighs> so what could we distract him with? What am I? You only have a log pile. So maybe find something at Dot's place? As what? you said, food maybe in the refrigerator. I didn't see any refrigerator. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's let's pay Todd's a visit again. Maybe he's still passed out. Oh yeah, still there. Is there a refrigerator? Oh, there's another. Ca oh, there it is. You were right all along, Misha. What's in there? What's this? It's meat in here. Let's eat that. Ooh. My lips on that. Now, maybe we shouldn't eat it. Let's just pick it up. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at the junkyard again then.
Hmm. Let's go in. Ben is a real hero running around like this. Let's see. Um, let's give it a try. Dun, 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 dun. I think the dog went over here, didn't it? Oh, there is. Oh, careful. Let's just take the meat and. I know. Throw it in here. Or maybe not. Come on, Ben, run. Down. He needs dogs. Yeah. I think we did what we were supposed to. Well, obviously, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. Come on. What's well, cooking? Okay, so there's the damn dog again. Let's go over here. And let's put the meat. Ah, again. So, Nisha. Any input on that? So, the food you collected, um, maybe just Needs put dogs. it inside the closest car there? Yeah, let's not try to choose the closest car. Uh, we can do that. Move on, Ben. Come on. So we're using in the blue one or the Yeah. Here, Poochie Pooch. Hey Poochie Pooch Pooch. Bon appetit, man. Okay. I should go up here. I have been cheating a bit. I know where to know where to go. Come on, Ben. Folks, nope, thank you. Pick it up. <clears throat> nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. <clears throat> Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish your Boys up. ass. I'm working on a surprise. I, I hate know. surprises. Yeah. All right, here she comes. I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Sure. Ooh, I wish I had a camera. <laughs> I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Oh, good.
So before moving on, I think we just... Oh, I'm not able to save. Perfect. I'll try to do some saving at some point. Oh. Look lively. He's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. See him? Nope. Keep looking. Hmm. So how do we get their attention? You're you're breaking up, Nisha. What? Bring back to the guest tank. Mm, let's do that. Why is he walking over there? Dumb, dumb Ben. Use your bike. That was a long walk. Okay, let's have a look. So we can just get their attention right here, I suppose. Let's kick it. Oh, no. yeah. Okay, maybe not. Let's. Grab it. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Okay, and Ben is already on the bike and is ready to go. Let's move on. Hey. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Rip Burger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful Till I head for the skies up above It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man, I got ya Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody Aha, the plot thickens Oh. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley. Uh-oh. Ben! <coughs> I that guess doesn't look too good. couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> Rip Burger did this to you. Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans. <laughs> minivans. Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt uh -huh. the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find my Marie. Marine. Marie? Oops. Rip Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Mm, gotta understand. Why'd he bring a camera? <laughs> Who does this guy work for? 
Holy motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. <sighs> yes, now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Bo's okay. shack, but I don't see the memo. Maybe I beat them here. Yeah, or maybe not. One second, but maybe I didn't. Let's have a look. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Maybe we should go to the mink ranch. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but blah, debris, blah, blah. except for yeah. that smashed up camera. Okay. Is there anything in here we can take? There's nothing in Mo's shed. Okay. So, Nisha, should we hit the road? Yeah. Let's do that. direction is that not on foot no, okay let's take the bike then maybe head to the north this time oh he was okay with us going that direction maybe it's okay let's see Oh, we're back at the kick stand. Oh. Okay. Oh. Psst. Ben. I accidentally went in the back of the. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Hey. No time to talk. You know, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got you pictures? pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me. Get my editor. He's gotta get me out of this. Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks. <laughs> my career is riding on those pictures. Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. Yeah. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. It could but be. then, who's got the film? Hmm. We need to find the film then, I suppose, at some point. Should we have a look at the what's going on inside here? What's this semi? Ah, oh, never mind. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this 
dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Road blocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. I just want to kick the piano again. I just love that music. Play. Anywho. Let's have a chat with a bartender again, shall we? Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't no, want to. Or get maybe involved. not. No, okay, never mind. Whoa, what about this guy? Hey, Emmett. Try, try to talk the truck driver? Yeah. Hey. That's your truck out front. I need a ride. You I might look like need a cabin. Right. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. What is that, Yeah. Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> you got the you got the ID from the reporter, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett. I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while. All right. Killed the guy. The customer with the knife is always right. Uh, let's see. I can do I that. Can do that. Not gonna happen. No, let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Okay, never mind. Okay, good, good talking, talking to you. To you. Friendly folks you get in here. And it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole. Oh, oh, oh. Let's try to talk to the guy again. We should be able to. Nah. Let me show you how to do that. Not, not gonna happen. happen. Okay. No. Good talking to you. What about this guy? Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Uh... Members of the Polecat gang are in custody, but their leader remains at large. Authorities have issued an all points bulletin. I they think he'll the love you after asking him 10 times. What do you say, Nisha? I think he might say yes after asking him 10 times. <laughs> 10 times, is it? Yeah. Latest right. reports suggest that the leader of the Polecats Oh, sorry. may have had an accomplice, a young mechanic. Maureen. Oh, the they're targeting Mo as well. sought by authorities for questioning in connection with the violent death of motorcycle magnate Malcolm Corley. Uh oh You know what I'm guessing? I'm guessing that Maureen is the daughter of... of uh, Asked about the, the eminent shareholders guy. meeting, Carly Motors Vice President Adrian Ripberger made the following statement. We cannot in good conscience go forward with the shareholders meeting until the perpetrators of this misdeed have been brought to justice. He's up to something. He wants us dead before the meeting starts. Mm, so there's a shareholder meeting we need to get to somehow. Let's try to uh, talk to this guy again. Hey, Emmett. Yeah, What's up? Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. There's obviously something we're missing. Let me show here. you how to do that. Not gonna happen. I could do that all do that. night. Not gonna happen. Uh, I'm good talking, talking to you. To you. I put my lips on that. Authorities are still seeking the leader of the Polecats and his accomplice. Yes, yeah, him again. Thought to be armed and dangerous. Look, 
Let me tell you what happened. Yeah. I told you, I don't want to get involved. I think we're missing something, Nisha. Let me show yeah. you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Okay. Keep we're talking, talking to, you. to you. Can we just, just take his truck? Let's have a look at his semi. This sucker is mine. Easter egg. Look, I really need a ride. Why are you? <laughs> Look, I really need a ride. Uh, should we take it for it? Should we just try to go somewhere? I mean, let, let's see if we find this mink farm. Maybe. I think he will not allow. You want to go in again? Yeah. Let's check with the guy. He's supposed to drive the truck. Yeah. <laughs> he is supposed to drive it. the cops will not allow you if you drive. Now you are in the news, right? The bank. Yeah. He's got a knife. Yeah, what about it? He's got a knife. Okay, let's talk to him then. Ah, oh, still just... Let me show you how to do that. Only if it'll shut you up. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. You're pathetic. Hang on. It's not that easy. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. I remember we did this back in school. Damn. 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 Isn't, isn't this the way to do it? <laughs> Ow. Hmm. You can do this wherever, I suppose. Hmm. How long do I have to do this? Hmm. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. Why Damn. do you want to do this? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Come on. Are we finished yet? Damn. Uh, okay. What was that? Hmm. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> I'm done. Wait till he'll, he'll let you. Hmm. Ouch. Out. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Am I doing something wrong here? Hmm. Damn. Da, 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 da. Ah! Yeah, sorry about that. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Ouch, ouch. Ah! Okay, oh, we're done. Yeah, you sure are good at that, buddy. You're pathetic. <laughs> okay, let's try again. No, I'm not going to try that again. Good talking to you. Let's have a look at the inventory. Ah, I'm being a real dumbass. Ha hang on. So we're going to show this picture to... Come on. See what happens I now. To get to this place. Uncle beats me, Grinch. I need to go in that direction too. Because the kids are running this guy at night. No poetic. Coffee. Okay. So let's show him the... Uh, Here. ID. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. What? Well, so how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. 
So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. That was easy. Wow. <laughs> we just spent half an hour oh, using great. a knife. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles be on this point. I'm with the feds, Chunk. Check it out. Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's in the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you rude get your man. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh. Yeah. I know, Ben. They stopped moving. So we made it. Problem with your truck? Yeah. <laughs> Loose holes and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well. Nice, nice snow knowing ya. Gotta hit the road, you know. Okie doke. Uh oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker is gonna die for what he did. Uh oh. Well, maybe we should have a look at the mink ranch. Maybe, uh. Mo is here. Oh, come on, Ben. You're slow. Okay. Oh, there's a... I couldn't break that lock. You sure? I don't have anything. Hmm, that's weird. Pictures. Let's have a look. Lots of bikes. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look at the... Tough-looking padlock. Okay. There's nothing. What's that banner? That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? I don't know. Pelt. What the heck is pelt? Looks like a mink pelt. Oh. It's not much up here to take. I suppose. Banner. Window. Let's have a look at the window. Maybe that. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl, dreaming of her life repairing toaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Let's have a look in the barn or whatever it is. Is there, you can see any pillow there? The barn's locked. You're a bit late. Okay, let's have a look at the pillow. Pillow? I didn't see any pillows. Is there a pillow here? There's a pillow here. Okay. Should I pick it up? Let's have a look. Maybe there's yeah. something stuffed under there. Oh. Tire. Iron. Yeah. Do I have to ask you, Nisha? Do you keep a tire iron underneath your pillow? Nope. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> Get up. Okay. Maybe I could use that to open the lock here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, maybe. Or Junk. junk and a hose I can use on my bike. Oh, yeah. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Uh oh. Oh, there she goes. Come on. Oh, that was an easy fix. So I always found some of the. Some of the. Uh, motorcycle driving scenes here are a bit difficult. 
we'll see how that goes later. Hey, Maureen. Oops. She took my booster fuel. Uh, uh, Why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. So cavefish is a uh, another bike gang. They're a bit weird. They have these weird goggles which they use uh, to see cave fish. And there's the view of the cave fish. Okay. the bridge we're having an issue what do we do about the bridge this cargo is worthless we have been tricked my brothers back to the cave back to the mansion no that's the wrong game hmm the place looks deserted maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here she's coming we just got here first that means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Sit and wait. Cool. Fertilizer. Oh, let's have a taste of the fertilizer. Oh. It's probably not gonna touch that. I'm not putting my lips Maybe on you that. can take a handful of fertilizer. Maybe we could pick it up. Might, might be used Maybe later. Maybe I'll just yeah. take a little. Oh. He picked up some. Nice. Go we'll look at the semi. Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. <laughs> it's bolted on. Just out of curiosity, what if I... Oh, I could actually take out the wheels. That's fun. Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Oh! Almost the bike. Come on. Wow, Ben is slow. What a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I'd call that a road hazard. Yeah, okay. Let's run the bike again. Let's see. So we could either go this way or that way. I don't know. Oh, I'm controlling the guy now. Oh, so we can take exits here. Um, so we're in cavefish territory. Oops. <laughs> Look at him run. No, no, no. 
now what do we do? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oops. I mean, that's got a stink. That's a, a ton of fertilizer. That that smells awful. Boss, it was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the quarry women out of hiding with a bike. Ross, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. Uh -huh. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. So they're gonna trick Maureen. But we need to get across that. Uh... Something tells me the bridge is out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Let's have a look at the sign. Probably need a. We need some clues. What the heck is this? Let's have a look at the picture. Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. Oh no. That doesn't sound good. One of the gorgeous many casualties. Ah, okay. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. Is there anything down here? Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge. And many have failed, except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. Okay. We need the ramp. So it was stolen by some thugs. Uh, and I have a gut feeling that we're talking about the, uh, the cavefish guys. Let's have a look. Come on. And the cavefish is found uh, on some of these... Uh, side roads let's take this exit and see where it goes okay father tour oh familiar face I haven't seen you since you retired from the polecats hey Ben how's my gang doing mm. That's a long story. No, okay. We'll have a chat with this guy. Ah, uh, screw that. Let's see if he knows a way around the, uh, the gorge. You know any way around Boyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, man. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? Yeah. It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it like, like Ricky, Ricky Myron. Myron. Cavefish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Uh huh. Where's the Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you got those weird cavefish specs. Okay. What are you doing, what are you out, doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, man. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, sir. Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? Ah. Hmm. Uh, You're right. No one's tougher than me. Let's cut the chit-chat. Take it easy, father. Give him hell, Bogat. Yeah, we'll do that. So, let's see if we can find someone to be. Oh, let's give him a try. So, 
come on. Ah, come on! Ah, come on! Oh, this is not going good. Come on! Come on! Oops. So you need to pick the right weapon. <laughs> Shit, what happened? Okay. So, the guy with the uh, 2x4, we should probably use a different... different weapon. Let's see, is this... What happened? I thought he was driving on his own, but I obviously need to steer this guy. Oh. Okay. Oh! Kayfish! Let's pick a fight with that guy. Come on. Come on. Oops. Mm, not the right weapon. Uh, Nisha, do you have a tip on which weapon to use for the cave fish? No. Nah, then you know what to do. Come on. I'll try to get rid of this guy. Okay. Come on. You're gonna die now. Come on. I'm r I really suck at this. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Oh. Now, oh, come hey, on. Cavefish goggles. Sorry, what? The cavefish goggles. Yeah, I need those. When but, you defeat them, yeah. But but how do I defeat the cavefish on the on the motorcycle? Do I need to use a special weapon? Is there a wooden plank? So I need a plank. Yeah, the wooden plank. Maybe you can get it from them. Come on! Oh. Sorry, you were saying? Yeah, a spiked maze or a wooden plank. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. So... I need to... Okay, so for this guy... Let's just try to hit him. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, I got the chain. No, that's Fighter Torque, is it? I'm not gonna pick a fight with that guy. Fighter Torque. That's a skinny bike. Hey, man. Uh... Father Tort, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see thinking. I'm on permanent vacation? <laughs> maybe, maybe we could get some tips from that guy, but never mind. Take it easy, Father. Okay. Give him hell, Polecat. So we'll use the chain on the next run, I suppose. The road trailers. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, ha, yeah. Mm. So we have the cavefish guy here. And um, let's use the chain just to see if that works. Can't reach. Nope. Okay, so the tip is there are different types of bikes the vultures, the skinny bikes, you got the chainsaw. Yep. Oh. Now, now the next would could be the rod wheelers. They have a fat red bike with a massive front wheel. So you can get the spike mess of the and the wooden plank from there. So I got the and chain the gun. And the cave fish, they have the yellow bikes with yep, the large sure. back wheel. Yep. And to to take out the cave fish, I need to use the plank. No, the um the 
Seder. Is that a re-regulation destroyer class? You don't earn any weapon from the scare fish ones, but you uh, collect a pair of goggles. From yes, them. that's the ones I need. Okay. <coughs> oh. So we'll just run around here until we manage to get the goggles of the cave fish. Oh, again. Can you use a change on this guy? Da, 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 da. Oh, I took him! Cool. But... But, no. Okay, that didn't help much. I didn't get his goggles. What I need to do to... Hmm. So, did you... Sorry for not paying attention, Nisha, but did you actually say what I needed to hit the cavefish guy with? No. No, you didn't. Cavefish, you don't need to hit, but you just need to collect the pair of goggles. How do I... Okay. Should I just hit the guy, or...? Okay, so we... Oh yeah, we got the skull. That's the one I'm supposed to use, isn't it? Uh, let's give it a try. Let's see if we can find some cave fish. Oh, a different one. Come on. Come on. Oh. Ah. Oh, took him. Wasn't that the guy with recoil booster? Hmm. Maybe not. And it's Father Torque again. I don't want to chat with you. Father Torque. I might need to go out and do something else hey, before man. I could get the uh, goggles of the cavefish guy. Well, yeah, I think those father. cavefish guys yeah, are configured oh, yeah. so the, the way they configured so they must ride lying down with their head forward okay let's see where we're going um. oh yeah there's something here we could pick up that's trashed don't touch anything without wheels. <laughs> That's trashed. There's nothing here? Really? Fender. Could I pick, pick up the fender? I don't touch anything without wheels. Could I kick the fender? No. No. Okay, look at the fender. Now there's one thing I've never needed. <laughs> a fender. That's trashed. Okay, screw that. And there's nothing else here. I don't walk. I don't walk. Okay, that's fine. So maybe we should go. Okay, so the main intention now is to find the find the ramp. And to find the ramp, we need the cavefish goggles. Yep. Right? Now we're back on the road. Back here, there is nothing here we could do. Hmm. 
Let's try these cave fish guys again. Ah. Oop, I missed that exit. I'll take this one. Okay, so there's a dude over there. Come on. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't get anything out of that one. Whoa. Not doing that exit. I've been fighting these guys before. Hey, mister. Back again? Good. Okay, lesson's over. Time for the final exam. I am back. Yeah. Enjoy. Oh, I got the plank. I got the plank. Let's see if we could do any damage with that one. Come on. That's the guy with the recall booster, is it? Hey, mister. <laughs> no! Come on! How am I gonna. Nisha, do you know how I could take out the guy with the recall booster? Crash my bike again. Okay, so we'll use the plan. Uh, no. I'm also used, supposed to use the plank. So this is getting a bit repetitive. So what are you after now? I don't know. I I I need the uh, the goggles from the cavefish, and I need the recoil booster from this guy. I just don't know how to. He's just going He's away. Nitro, snail so you got the wooden plank as well, right? And the spiked mace, and then the chainsaw, all those things. Yeah, I got all of that. I'm just curious. How I'm gonna get the get the two last ones. Hey, you! Stop that! Ah, stop that! This time you're gonna stay down. You're gonna die now. Freaky punk. Yeah. Oh, hit that guy, will you? Again. Yeah, Ben. I know. And um, we have Father Torque again. Come on. Father Torque. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Oops, sorry. Hey, Ben. Yeah, nice talking to you. Take it easy. Well, take it easy, Father. Oh, maybe Get I need to ask him about again. the uh, fighting tips again. Mm, we'll see. I'll do that next time. Oh, we have a cavefish. Do you want me to use the... Well, I tried to use the plank on that guy. That didn't go well. He just squirts oil. Hmm. Recoil boost of fuel. Maybe we can focus on. How do I get that?
So to get the booster fuel, uh, you will first need to fight the member of the vultures gang who uses a chain to attack their opponents. So I've got the chain. Yeah. So this is a man wearing a red shirt with a black vest and goggles. Right? Yeah, I just kicked his ass. So they might have another weapon. So I need to use the chain. Yeah, so the chain collected, you might search you for another one. Oh! For divers. Yes! They might have a recall booster. That should booster. have a couple of good boosts left in it. Thank you, Nisha. So we got the boost. Cool. Now we just need the goggles. Yeah, okay. fish again no nope. reach so with the cave fish uh, the hint is they must arrive lying down with their head forward can't reach yeah they're doing that oh oh yeah I got the goggles so we're all good. Oh, cool. And I'm taking the goggles on, and we will look for the uh, for the entrance to their cave. Okay. Let's see. We just have to wait. Hmm. So Ben is just driving on his own, and we're just waiting for the entrance to appear. That's an exit. Nope. Cave. Here's the cave. Cool. Okay. Cool. So there's. I don't spelunk. <laughs> okay. I don't spelunk. Why did we get off the bike then? There's nothing funny here to look at. Let's move on. Oh, look what we found! There's the ramp. Ramp. Let's have a look at the ramp. Property of the Ricky Myron Traveling Stunt Show. Let's take it. Yeah, that was easy. Now, no, no, no. no. Uh, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I thought I was supposed to go. Really? Oh, okay. No. Hmm? What are I doing? What am I doing wrong here? I'm not able to... Sorry. <sighs> Look at the fortress. Everything about these guys is creepy. So have we... You get off the bike and have you used the ramp twice? Twice? What do you mean? What do you mean twice? So you drove through the tunnels, right? Yeah. So until you make it where the ramp was. True. And I yeah. attached so the ramp. you get off the bike. 
so you get off the bike and use the ramp twice so once to push it to the bike and the second time to attach it just there and then travel back to the next room and get off oh. your bike use the ramp again and Ben will use the edge of the ramp to pry off the dots in the road yes so the cavefish the way they operate or the way they drive is to follow the yellow markers in the middle of the road so okay. we're gonna we're gonna mess up their vision a bit so what I was doing wrong earlier was that I was trying to use the uh, the, the boot instead of the uh, the hand to uh, start the uh, start the bike oh snap okay so we place the ramp where I'm it should be these boys oh yeah so he just threw the goggles out let's have a look at the ramp just for fun property of the rookie oh, man. traveling stunt we already show. done that so what we need to do now is to take the bike and are we missing some parts for the bike hmm. let's see Come on, Ben, move on. Man, coffee. That's a good looking bike. Oh, yeah. But do we have what it needs? Could we actually. Let's see. Let's just save for now. <laughs> We're halfway there, guys. We're halfway there. And we spent two hours so you know how's this gonna end Nisha I really appreciate move on, move on. sorry move on move on yeah let's move on <laughs> could I actually do this I got everything except let's... for that auto hover lift so the hover lift how am I gonna get that Is the uh, where is where can I get the hover lift? Do I need to steal that from someone else? Hmm. Let's say. How far can I go here? Nah. Exits here. Uh, then we're out of the cave fish area. I'm just curious if this one is open. Slow, come on. It's locked. The barn's locked. Mm, okay. What do we usually do about that? Well, we give it a kick. Open up, you minx. <laughs> no, that didn't go any go well. So, Nisha, where do I get this uh, propeller propeller for the uh, for the bike? So the the part we're missing now is the part that will sort of make us fly over the gorge. No. So you mean the car fan? Car fan. Hmm. Okay. A fan from a hover car. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's have a look at that one when we get there. Mm. So we don't need that one. Whoosh. Okay, so there's a car right here. So 
So I didn't find it earlier, but let's see if we can find it now. to use the tire iron on the rear end of the car hmm okay <laughs> that was easy okay we don't take that one and mount it on the bike looks okay for an aftermarket part mm, okay I think we're ready to go then have you collected the fan I just did okay cool that's it you will see in a minute I suppose So we're not going to take any exits. We're just going to stroll down to the uh, to the ramp, see what's going to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to take any exits. Uh, here we have the ramp, and it stops. Okay. Okay. All right. I I'm going to find my bike enough. enough. Cool. Evil can evil. Let's see what happens. Oh. That's a nice set of nitro. Oh, here we go. Uh oh. Wow. Driving all day, driving all night. That is really, really dedicated. So we're approaching the uh, the uh, Corley Motors headquarters. I think it is. Yeah, where they will have the shareholder meeting, or where they were supposed to have the shareholder meeting. So we have the. Let's have a look at the. Fa okay, so we have the factory. Just have a look at it. The Corley Motors factory. Mm. Holy ground. Okay. Is there anything else we could have a look at? Oh. What's up there? Is that back again? So here you don't need to find uh, any items, but you still need to try and find more. So we could have a look at the stadium. Thanks, Marcus, by the way, for uh, hosting. Perfect. Hey, Marcus. How's it going? Looks like something big's going on in there. Souvenirs here. Oh, souvenirs. We got your hats. We got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. Drive your own derby car by remote control. Cool. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Lovable, lovable little bunny. Okay, so we the got some. Uh, licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. We got your T-shirts here. Yeah, uh, shut up. All we'll have sizes and colors. <clears throat> what can I get you? Uh, let, let's uh, try to f figure out what's going on here. Why all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Corley hardtail, completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. Mm. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well, good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Well, I need bunnies. Bunnies and plenty of them. Maybe. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Uh, can I just take them out for a test drive? 
I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Hmm. How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with all this, but... Uh... Those uh, shirts come in extra, extra large. Eh. So this is probably... Eh, no, but they're pretty shrunk. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. So let's have a look uh, Actually, about, about the... Uh, let me think about it. He who hesitates goes home with Jack. And his kids, hey, maybe. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just click. Better let you get back to work. All right, matey. I just care about. Could I use Fill this our one? handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. You can click on his T-shirt, I think. Sure, sure. Ooh. Take your first spin. Just don't just go out of range. You can take the gun. Souvenirs to remind you of your special smashatorium adventure. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. <laughs> Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great. You killed the battery. Oh, sorry. What about this bunny? Hey, bunny. All right. Let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe you. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. Hmm. Okay. What about this one? Don't be a cheap jerk. Bye. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> What can I get you? Mm. Better let you get back to work. All right, matey. Just... If we don't got it, then it stinks. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. So yeah, I, I heard what you were saying, Misha. Uh, pat the bunny. You know you want to. Yeah, I'll you pat the bunny. You just can't get this stuff anywhere else. All right, let's see the oh, cash, amigo. Same thing again. I'll owe you. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. So is there any option is like look and it's cheap or too. Those weapons were about a week. Oh, sorry. I'm practically Just giving this loot away. We can have a look at it. What's a couple of bucks? Excuse me. Uh -huh. But are those shirts sure, um, are they all cotton? Well, uh let's just see here. Oh. One hundred percent cotton. Oh. Um that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. I was too slow. Hang on. These souvenirs. Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. Did we just steal that bunny? 100% cotton. Yep. Oops. Okay, let's Don't get out of here. everybody. There's enough for everyone. That's right. Official <laughs> That was me. That was the guy on the, uh, <laughs> in the shop. Can we get in here? It's the exit. Oh. It only spins one way, and it's the wrong way. Uh oh. Hmm. No, no, no. Let's have a look That's at the old hardtail Mo restored with Malcolm. Hmm. I'm not going in there. They all think I killed their beloved leader. Oh, okay. So where do we go from here? Don't go away empty-handed. Come on, give me a break. Can you you see just can't get this stuff anywhere there? else, folks. We got it all right here. Fill our handy beverage oh, hats here. with your drink of choice. Let's see. So... Let's... Let's have a walk over here. Let's see what's going on at the stadium. Oh, the main gate. Let's uh, do what we usually do. Let's knock on the door. Come on. Yeah. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Jerk. Okay, never mind. So, oh, I can go two ways here. Hmm. 
I have a feeling we are supposed to go somewhere. What's in here? Oh. Meters. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Wow, this place sucks up the juice. What is going on over here? Hatch. Did you open the hatch? It's closed mechanically in a serious way. Mm. Rusted too. Okay. What about this one? Oh, this is open. It's sealed shut. No. Oh. Wall. I'll beat it up later when I have more time. What about kicking it? Nah. Yeah. I think we're, we're supposed to do something here, but I don't know what. I'm not getting in that hatch. Well, I don't walk. No, that's fine. thing is, I think we're supposed to find uh, the vulture's hideout. Yeah. The question is, how do we get there? Is that over here? So it says, get on your bike and head to the vulture's hideout. So this is found on the far left side of the screen. You'll get a yellow... It's down there. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. Over, over the right spot. Yep. Okay. And upon our, yeah. So upon arrival, um, there's the vultures hideout on the other side of this field. That I've heard a lot up about the upon hitting the minefield. Yep. He's doing that. Oh, there's a minefield here. Guess it's all true. So I yeah, have a. Wild guess. Let's release the bunny. Yeah, use the bunny um, and wait for it to blow up. You need to collect the battery after that. Battery? Hmm, okay. Oh man, come on. Oh, there's the battery. Pick it up. So... I don't want to set off any of these boys. Yeah, let's try to avoid that. Mm. So it's good to have you guys on board, Marcus. Uh, thanks for hosting, and uh, I hope you guys are doing fine. I mean, this adventure is a bit different uh, than what you see from Al, I suppose. But, um, thanks for joining anyways. So the batteries, I suppose, Nisha, we're going to mess around with the uh, with the uh, souvenir guy. That's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's piss him off. Now we need to steal the box of bunnies. Oh, yeah, the one with the Don't go away empty multiple handed. bunnies. Lovable, lovable mm -hmm. little bunny. So I think the officially licensed bunny of the Corley Motors Smashatorium. So I have a wild Souvenirs guess. Here. I, I don't All remember really. But what if we take the batteries? Don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. Put them in the car. That should put some life into it. And just drive it off over sure, here. Sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Maybe the guy will Oh yeah. In here, will you? Don't go in there. Now look what you did. Oh. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's <laughs> coming. <laughs> okay. Now it's just me and the bunnies. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. 
Mm. I mean, this guy is up to no good. Okay, this is back to the bike. There's a lot of back and forth here, but I think we're getting somewhere. And we're doing a lot better now than what we did earlier. Okay. The minefield's been replanted. Tidy little vultures. Hmm, yeah. Let's see what we can do about these. Let's toss them in there. Oh, this is going to take half an hour to get those bit puppets over there. Come on. Now, this reminds me of uh, the movie Ap Apocalypse Now. It's a pretty small minefield, though. <laughs> now, okay, let's move on. I, hope. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Do I need more bunnies? I don't want to set off any of these boys. How, how the heck am I? Sp okay. That's not what I expected. Don't think so. How the heck am I supposed to go over there? Dead I'm end. Stuck. Come again. Are you stuck? <laughs> Slightly. Okay, so there could be two approaches here. Maybe you can use the box uh, with the minefield and uh, immediately begin collecting all the bunnies as they start hopping away. That's a bit late. Or maybe... they all blown up. <laughs> One bunny at a time. Uh, don't think so. He doesn't want to pick up the bunny box. Oh, hang on. So there's other stuff going on here. Dang, there goes another guy you back. Maybe I need to fetch some more. And I'm probably going to replant the minefield. Oh, we're screwed, aren't we? Oh, let's have a look again. Let's see. Hey! So, uh... We probably need to pick up the uh, bunnies after he tossed out the uh, tossed out the box, I suppose, as you stated, Nisha. Yep. Okay. Let's take you for a spin. No, don't walk there, idiot. Hang, hang, hang on. Come on. Okay, so we are supposed to take the bunny pack, put it here, hmm? here, 
and then start to collect them, right? Yeah. Don't think so. Come on. There's 12 of them. I have to sort of... Ooh, go real quick here. So what am I supposed to do? Just throw one and one at a time? Yeah, and move. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. As close to the start of the minefield as possible and release only one at a time. Okay. Come on, move. Mm. No. no. Okay, let's take the next one. Oh, look, we have 12 of these. You know, this reminds me of what we, what you told me to do earlier. Uh, play with that guy for 10 with his knives knife ten times no offense let's say move on don't think so no I don't think so no, I don't think so come on maybe you can collect the same bunny also and walk off the path you have created but we're on our way here I don't want to set off any feet I think this should work. Yeah. Oh, there it is. We didn't use all of them. Ah! That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. No, all right, no, vultures, no. Rack him up. Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father. Okay, maybe no bad. Malcolm once. I said shut up about my dad. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm losing my temper, Marine. Hey, you're about to lose much more. Oh, sorry. This is not gonna end well. Okay, that's enough. Mm, no. no. <laughs> okay. Corley and I. I said shut up about my dad. I'm innocent. You're in something, all right? <laughs> Maybe you need to say Let some go, lines or else. there, or else. Call your names. <laughs> like what? Uh, go or else. Dynamo. Or call your name. Something oh. like that. Did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You yeah. bludgeoned my yep. father and then talked about old times. I didn't kill him. Rip did. Names, yeah. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I that role. Oh, you well, do. Develop it, would you? Second While I still fit in my clothes. Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down. We save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders' meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders' meeting until we're both dead? Hmm. That could be arranged. Okay, so here okay. we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. 
first prize of tonight's smash up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Uh -oh. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> That's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. Okay. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motor Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Yeah. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another mass newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pyla, Dory Morley. All right, boys. Take them. Take them out. Finally, we have a last minute addition to the lineup tonight. Oh, yeah. A deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. So we need to get head on with uh, Maureen, I suppose. I suppose you might. Are you Ben? Oh, you're getting come. there. Drive around. Ouch. Move. Hot. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going over the ramp. Wee the ramp's too The other car. Man, what are you doing? Get over here and nail me. Sorry, Nessa, you were saying? I need some more. Use the ramps to bounce off of yep. the cars. Yeah. Come on. Go, 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 go. Collision with the yellow car. But I'm stopping, so it's. Ah. Maybe I need to go over here. Let's have a look. Some latency on the uh, on the view of the, of the stream here. I'm on my second try of getting the car up on the ramp. Come on, just slowly up on the ramp. Will you? Here we go. Boom, boom, brothers. It's all over. Boom. Get him. What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? <laughs> Idiots. Okay, Mo. 
time for our big finale. Do it. Okay. Boom. Now that's an explosion, ladies and gentlemen. Can't see any survivors. Wait, what's that? It's the unknown Avenger, and he's on fire. Let's give him a hand, folks. That looks painful. We really should put him out right away, but what, what a show. show, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting somewhere. see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think we need to make a bigger fire here. to use the bunnies here I suppose no but I need to fire up this one I think or this one uh, what am I missing here Nisha so where are you right now because I don't see the light no, I'm uh, I, I'm just running around trying to make a diversion, but I'm... Yeah. I'm on fire, to put it that way. Okay, oh, maybe, so I, maybe I could run outside. Maybe that works. Oh! Out, I, I put... I just put fire to the stadium. Now. Come again? The crowd might be evacuated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So then those two fellows might have time to restart their car and try to crush you. Ben? And Finally. Yeah. Now, squish that firefly so. while he's hot. So I need to. Well, yeah, then Ben needs to stand uh, on top of, uh, of the other car, is it? One of, yeah, yeah. Like the other two fellows ran, tried to ram it. And as they're ramming it, fly on top of their car and wait for them to make a loop. So I should jump onto their car? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Come on. Okay, so they're at it again. So I'm on their car now. Let's see. And they yeah, are moving for around. them to make a loop here. Yeah. And then when they're passing by the massive bonfire, have Ben walk into it. So this I should just jump things. into the bonfire. Yeah, and then this, that makes those two fellows chase Ben into the wreckage and uh, ultimately causes their car to explode. Ah, okay. Oops. What happened? Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us 10,000 shares of stock each. ta -da. Hmm. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? 
the temperature map? Well, on Oops. the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time right. to start the shareholders meeting. Oh, yeah. Where's the hardtail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. But that's assuming, of course, I can find that key. So, um, well, you guys have been uh, watching the stream. Uh, I'm a bit ahead of you, so I'm now talking to Maureen, who just picked the uh, picked the bike apart. Um, and I'm in a conversation with her. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, let's... So this is the final chapter now, I would say? Yeah. Okay. How was your flight? So we're supposed well, there were to... some explosions during takeoff, and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. So we're supposed to expose uh, Rick Berger now uh, at the yeah. shareholders meeting. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. Okay. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I oh. looked everywhere, and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. Yeah. So there is um, there's a safe, safe supposedly. So important? My dad's will. I'm counting oh, on yeah. him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. So how are we going to get into the factory? the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. Um, how do I find the secret passage? So it looks like well, this it's safe contains. You have to um, wait for all the utility meters to turn uh, the black. Wheel. Yeah. Then you kick the wall in okay. just the right spot, and you're in. Okay. So while you were talking, Nisha, uh, Maureen explained how how do we uh, get into this uh, office of his. So we need to go back where the meters were and you had these two entrances which were sealed shut and we need to um, kick the wall how do as I, I tried to right do that to earlier. Kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. Okay. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall and if I line up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. So we'll just have to... Um, well, you have to figure out where this uh, spot is. Um, I'll see what I can do. Let's try to get in. Right. Uh, Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. So I just got the photos as well, and I'm going back to the um, back to the stadium. And the factory. So we're going in the back uh, entrance here, and I need to kick one of these in right. Uh, sorry, uh, in, in what, exactly the right spot. I don't know where, but uh, we'll give it a try. Not so that the one. correct spot is in a place that looks like two cracks overlapping to form a sort of notch or button near the ground. It seems shut. Two cracks overlapping. Two cracks overlapping. Yeah, to form a sort of notch or button near the ground. Yeah. I don't know which one, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, uh, so find a spot on the wall on its left side where the wall joins the ground. Yeah. And then the cracks over. Oh, there it is. Uh, spot. I, I just missed it by a millimeter. So let's go in here. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're in. Uh, I remember from the last time I played this game, I, 
if I had serious dare, no drawers. I think I had serious issues. Uh, Furniture at this moving? point, no. Okay. Because there's some, there's some security here somewhere, and Ben needs to yeah. run. Let, let's see how that goes. Card reader. Well, I don't have any card. What about this one? Looks like the meeting started. It was not only an inspirational leader, but also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Oh yeah, tragic. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when calling motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected. <laughs> Ripper Malcolm Garza. Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. So I need to manage Ladies to get the photos I up here. To present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan. <laughs> Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. Hey, who are you? How long have you been there? Long enough. Oh, security. Mm, security. Help. Security. Okay, so this is the issue. What took you we need so to get her out of here. Ran down the hallway. Move it. Mavis must be saying things. Oh, yeah. Floor safe. Uh, <clears throat> I have no. I don't have the combinations. So I don't know what to do about this. But we probably get so, get that from out later. Okay. So are you looking for a code or key something? No, I'm. Just, well, yeah, that would be great, but um. I, I would like to know how the heck we get rid of this lady, uh, in here. Uh, what's in here? It's locked. Mm, okay. Do we have anything we could? I'm not going to release a bunny in here. Locked. A bunny won't do much there. No, sorry about that. I don't want to set off any alarms. Yeah, good idea. Uh, is there a way we could? Hmm. I'm a bit unsure. Look at that stadium burn. That's going to take a bite out of the pension fund. <laughs> yeah. Furniture moving? No. I'm not putting my lips on that. Very austere. No drawers. There's probably there there is probably a drawer here, isn't it? Furniture moving? No. Okay. So there's nothing. Wait. So af uh so after that hidden uh, door through that one, mm -hmm. right? So you entered somewhere, right? That might be the Malcolm's office. It is. Right. So. So you need to um, trace the discolored square in front of the his desk. The floor safe. Yeah. So that is his safe, right? Mm -hmm. And then you need to enter some codes there. Yeah, but I yeah. don't have that code. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get that from, uh, I don't know, Maureen, maybe? So Maureen has the key to her dad's safe. And I'm mm -hmm. guessing that's the floor safe. So is there any uh, MX square, art. actually? 
Come again? Is there any MX square, something like that? Because it shows, it explains that that might have, there might be a code. <clears throat> Open the scene. Yeah, so the, the MXC, uh, oh, that's the button. Right, so you need to, we need to enter the right uh, key and then hit the MXC button. Hang on, is there anything out here? Could I? I'm gonna. Man, that Rip Burger can yap. Where does he get this crap? I can see all over the company from here. Ah, help! Security. Security. It was that same guy, the big one. Catch him this time, will ya? This is gonna get old fast. <laughs> hmm. Could I kill the meters, maybe? Yeah, that's fine. Don't let the power company after me, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's closed mechanically in a serious way. Rusted, too. It's meant for that. I think in the first conversation, Maureen has already mentioned the code, right? Mm. It's meant for now. I could go back to Maureen and have a chat with her. Yeah, I think she yeah, has mentioned that. the code. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit back and forth here. But we're getting close, well, closer to the end here. And we're still just in three hours, so it's not that bad. I saw a speedrun of, uh, of Full Trophy Monday, spent one hour. So it's, uh, should be doable. Okay. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Mm hmm. Great, now help me find that key. The key, okay, so. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. Okay. Those baby's flying days are over, just like mine. Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I'll see what okay, I can so do. Okay, so I need to help right. Marie find the key. Parts. I'm going to have a look at the parts. Ah, okay. So there's a bunch of numbers here. So we're going to write that down in the comments section just to keep a track of it. Let's see. So we have one five four four nine two okay we'll go four eight hey. so i noted down one five four four nine two three hmm. 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 oh there's more here Can try that hmm. number? Oh, there's a bunch of them hmm. let's uh. try it I'm just gonna write all of these down. Eight, nine, one, six, one. Uh, one, two, four, seven, eight. Well, this other one here is not the. Hmm. 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 Well, I mean, the one with the B is not gonna do me any good. B sixty-seven, whatever the, that next number is. Mm 
Okay, thanks. Um, there's more parts. Oh, it's just these. Okay, so we'll take those numbers and we'll go back. Are we sure that's the only parts? But yeah, we are. Okay, so let's go back and try one of some of those numbers. Okay. I don't know. A leap of faith on that one. That was easy. It's open. There's a okay, some sort so of that card. works. Yeah. Cool. And we'll got... I sure hope that's Corley's will. Okay, so we have we have a couple of extra things in our inventory now. We got a uh, let's see. So we have the pictures of uh, Ripperger killing him, Malcolm. And we got a videotape, uh, which is probably uh, Malcolm's will. And we got a card. And I suspect the card could be used to get into this uh, extra room. Okay, the card reader. Yeah. Okay. That worked perfectly. Ooh. It's open. Ah, okay. So what we need to do now is to. Okay, so on the on the room on the left we have this uh, lady who's gonna get me kicked out of, of this on security. But I am supposed to mess up something here. Okay. I think you need to disrupt the meeting um, to get that lady leave her post in the room on the right. Can you use the motor control? Yeah, I just killed the presentation. And she is. What the hell is going on up there? I'm on it. Just readjusting the lamp and motor control. Also, here. use the light uh, control lever on the right yeah. to increase the lamp's uh, power. Yes. This will burn the film. Back to the presentation. Ah, uh, yeah. I hate this old equipment. My girdle needs less adjusting. So, meeting can come to a halt. So I, I, I push both levels, uh, but I, I just need to kill the motor. So as you say, I burn the, burn the film. Okay, so that's gonna be nasty. This is intolerable. Ah, yeah, they're gonna fix it. So then you might reappear in the hallway now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, the issue is that I, I didn't, um, I didn't raise the level of the, uh, of the, uh, light. So the lamp lever, I need to adjust twice. And then I need to kill the motor. That's the way and I can only burn this. Power. Increase the lamp's power. Yeah. Two what clicks. do you see before you right now? Is my for Oops. Oh, perfect. perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About him. Uh, 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 uh. I... Oh yeah, the tape well, is on fire. I'm out of ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. So I'll go into her room, and I need to put. This is where you put the cards for the big so screen video projector. In my conversations with the common employees, 
Now, this next slide shows our yep. new, more aggressive corporate strategy. I must have croaked. So Ben added in well, the uh, move on, you know? in the pictures and, and he also added the and that's what I'm role automatically. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripburn. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh. I let that man <laughs> talk me into uh. far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's Busted. enough. Busted. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm um. sorry you had to hear that, Tate. From... Uh, one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where do you hobble off to? Uh, uh oh Yeah. There he goes. Dun, 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 dun. So Ripburger is on the run. After me. But Ben is on it. Okay, so Ripburger just took off in a run, Ripburger. Massive trailer. Find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, it's Ben. Down. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. Oh, okay. So Rip Burger is at it again. Oh, what? What is going on with this guy? Come on, come. She interrupted my speech then. She really shouldn't have. I was just about to talk about the inherent dangers of. Cycle operation. Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? Yeah, so that was a interesting uh, twist to it. Okay, so we need to. Uh, nope, we're gonna. No, we're not gonna taste the pipes. Okay, so we're gonna open the grill here, I suppose. Uh, we're yeah. gonna get in the Fully grill. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm saving that chain. Okay, hang on. Let's try to. Um. Put... Come on. Pretty small. So how am I gonna? I can't. The fans like a big meat. Do you have any bunnies? <laughs> I have some bunnies. I can put that in here, of course. Yeah. Oh! Let's try it again. I don't think that's going to do any good. No. Okay, so... And if I try to... Go over, Ripper is trying to shoot me. Oh, shite. Yeah, we're just, 
We just died. Um, let me try that again. Yeah, let me try that again. So that's the Yo, good thing about this one. Pick up your you we'll you don't have to jail. sort of go from a save or load point. Us. And then you uh, go just start over from the you. last uh, checkpoint. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I settle for just a little peace and quiet. Okay, so what do we do about the uh, about this truck? So any good ideas, Nisha? Except for the bunnies. Just about the green. There is a panel that sorts of blends into the truck just about the green. There's a panel. Yeah, that sort of blends into the truck just about the green. Ah, you okay. Use that which makes Ben lift it over the panel. Wind. Yep. Haha. <laughs> oh. That mm, that might make a uh, rebugger use his game to try and put it down. Like okay, so this is gonna be interesting. So I have to use the panel and then I have to take take Ah oh, come on. No. Panel I took his cane. Uh -huh. And we're gonna use that cane in the in the fan, are we? Oh yeah, yeah so we are. Dive in there. Him. Yeah. Which exposed when you open the grill cover. So we're gonna rip off the fuel line. Come on, come on, Ben. Oh, okay. Is it gas leak? Okay. I don't see him that anywhere on the bed. So that might allow Ben to climb through the truck and reappear on the back side of the truck? Yeah, yeah? I am on the back side of the okay. truck. Okay. Okay, maybe I'd rather use the tire iron. Far right horse. We're gonna fall off the cliff here again. Just to loosen it. No, there's no. I don't see an in. What? Where am I supposed to use the uh, tire iron? Yeah, so use the tire iron on the far right hose. Just to loosen it. Oh, there's a nut. So, yeah, Ben will lift it uh, then to cause the gas leak. No one sneaks up on me from behind. Okay, yep. That worked. Okay. <laughs> so we have a... Uh oh. I thought you said this thing couldn't move. I said it couldn't fly. I never said it couldn't taxi. Well, flying would be nice since we're headed for the gorge. Ripburger, you're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben, don't bring me in there. How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit! Hmm. Ah! Careful, Ben! Okay, now this plane. Maybe Ben so needs to climb the up the ladder. I could have used those. Yeah, we're up the ladder. Yeah, pause for a moment. Uh, La emergency. Control loss. Engine failure. Uh, well. yeah, maybe some menus like takeoff, post takeoff, landing gear raise. Takeoff. What can you use a takeoff? Yes, takeoff. Takeoff, yeah. Takeoff first. And then what? 
Post takeoff, is there any? Yeah. And then landing gear. gear. Yeah. Race gear. Detached and then gear. race, yeah. Yep. Here goes nothing. What the? Oh yeah. Ben, what did you do? <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. We have a real cliffhanger here. So the uh, airplane is now ben, on the end ben, of, are you alive? Uh, I of, of the bridge. I don't know about Rip Burger. Mm -hmm. I can see him. Just He's out cold. It's hanging there. Climb back here quick. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, main menu. Defense menu. So just defense, yeah. The machine guns, control and system. <laughs> I think you just killed a seagull. Okay, let, let's try that again. Um, so I'm supposed to use the f machine guns, I suppose. Yeah. And. And then control. Oh. <laughs> I, sh I shut it off. And Rip Burger is. Away. Away he goes. Down in the gorge. Well, the answer is that. Okay, so how do I get back? I need to. Uh oh. Yeah, I just died. Well, everyone just died. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just a few seconds you need to get out. But I need to get rid of Ripper first, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's give that a try. Let's be a bit more quick about it. So maybe um Ben Ben Use the fire instead of system off. Sorry, what? What what careful the Ben? What is Ben up to now? Ah, crappers. I cannot. He's gonna shoot me. Yeah, he is. Okay. I'm taking you and your friends with me, Ben. Okay. All you're taking is the wrong kind of medication. Hang on. So I just messed up. Uh, I spent some time on trying to climb off the truck. That was not my intention. My apologies. Okay, so we got rid of Rip Burger. Wow. Okay. Then I need to run, 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 Ben, run. Or maybe I should go in and detach the trailer. Maybe that's the what what I need to do. So well, can no. you make Ben walk to the left Wait, to see back. his bike? We need your weight in the plane. So Ben is he's on the run and he Uh No He didn't make it. Let me try that again. <laughs> Sorry, so you, you were saying, Nisha, after we got rid yeah. of Rip Burger. Yeah, so after he get rid of Rip Burger, maybe Ben can walk ben, to the left ben. to see Climb his bike. Quick. His bike? Okay. Okay, now let's just get rid of Rip Burger. Main menu, defense menu, machine guns, control, control system off. Okay, so on the left or right? Left, left. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Need to make him uh... Wimp. Left? There's no bike here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he goes inside and then uh, grabs his bike. I'm assuming. Try that. 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe his bike is in there. Wait, come back! We need your weight in the plane. Sorry, Ben. You're gonna die. Okay, there's the bike. Let's. Come on, come on, come on. Let's use the bike. Fire it up. Here we go. This is gonna be a close call. Oh, he's out. Is he? Is he? Oh, he, oh, that's Hollywood for you. Or Bollywood for that matters. Life. Is he out? He's out. And we're on the... And he played it. By his own rules. He was a mystery to most of us. And yet, an inspiration to us all. Awesome. <laughs> he gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. Thank you, Malcolm Corley. Given us a dream that will never die. So. So. Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion, and around <laughs> that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But, Ben, oh, just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. <sighs> yeah. Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 good, great. So, Ben is off into the uh, sunset, it seems. Yeah, we made it guys, we made it. Thank you very much Nisha. We made it. Super. In only three hours-ish. That's an improvement from last week. That was quite an adventurous, I would <laughs> <mind> <laughs> say. It's a good game-ish. Yep. Yeah.